Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 42 and in this episode we're going to buy ourselves a new trailer and we're going to deal with our straw crop after we've delivered the barley to the flower factory. So this is the trailer we're going to buy. Nice big strout one. There it is in all its glory. And uh, yeah, it's got about, I think about 52,000 litre capacity. So that's a big upgrade from our 30,000 litre trailer that we had, or that we've got. We'll get that loaded up and down to town so that we can get the flower production well, we've already delivered some, so flower production is up and going, but we'll get all the barley in there and keep the flower workers happy. We've got just over 50,000 litres left in there. That should just about fill this trailer up. Be about uh, high 90s, high 90% full. And once that's done, we'll nip on down into town. So we've got heaps and heaps of straw of course to bring in as well so we'll get that bailed up and we'll bring the straw in we'll fill up the the bale straw or the <laughs> bale, the storage for bales we'll fill up that the storage shed for bales that's what I was trying to say we'll fill that up and then we'll sell whatever left over after we've made sure that we've filled up the or taken the the cow shed up to full capacity for straw so we can get the manure going as well. we'll keep the manure going as well right there we go about 97 percent full we'll head on to head on into town and we'll see you once we're there we go just about at the flower mill get that all floated yeah happy that we've made the decision to get the bigger bigger uh, trailer 30,000 litre trailer just really wasn't cutting the mustard so we will uh, We'll have this one going and well, I suppose in the near future we'll look to get another one when we've got to bring in all those fields because we've got I think we've got two two um, canola fields to bring in we've got a big weird field to bring in as well so yeah plenty of crops to be harvested and we're going to have to look at some sort of simultaneous action but that's for a bit later well, we'll get back to the farm now, go and drop off the trailer, and then we will hitch up the baler and we'll go and bail up those straw swaths. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we actually really need a huge amount of straw for our... Well, we do actually, because we've got to keep, uh, keep the... Uh, the the cattle barn reasonably full of straw for the for the cows but we'll see how, we'll see how that goes uh, we'll still be able to sell some because it'll be I'm guessing we'll get 40 or 50 bales off that of that field so right let's go and pick up the baler trusty John Deere baler. We're fast becoming a John Deere farm really. Let's have a quick look at the grass. Mm, that's ready to go as well. Grows really quickly the grass of course so yeah another consider another job still to be done. Farm is becoming 
we're getting to the stage now where we've uh, where we've got our work cut out um, to get everything done. In any event, just a bit of farm management required. So let's get this trusty old baler hooked up and then we'll head off down to the field and go and bale up some straw bales. Keep our cows happy. Keep them well bedded. Looks like we've got a bit of grass in there that'll just convert to straw. Not a problem. Unfolded on the way down. Bit far up, but still. <laughs> uh, I do enjoy the drive through the fields now. Be interesting to see how many bales we do get. Right, let's get this started and then we can put it onto a bit of a time lapse so that we can. Uh, Show you more or less what's happening without boring you to death with the hours of up and downing and straw spitting out the back of our baler.
Well, there we go. We just about finished. Put this uh, swath to collect in this little bit here, and that's pretty much done. And we'll be able to see how many bales we've got. I reckon it'll be around about the 50. So let's have a look. 55 bales produced. Fantastic. Lots and lots of straw for the cows. Let's just get this back to the shed. Get it washed off first. Make sure it's nice and clean. Just got to be a little bit careful because there's still a half a bale in the baler. We don't want to get that wet. Right, that's good. Go and park it up. Then we'll go and get... Uh, I think the next thing we'll do is we'll go and get the, um, the bale loader. Get those bales collected and delivered to the bale shed. Sell any excess that we have, make a bit of money, and then we'll um, also put some, well, we'll fill up the cow barn with straw. It's so gonna have some nice fresh breeding. Come on. Why are you struggling to park this thing now? It's a bit tight, but it shouldn't be that much of an issue. If you don't start right when you're reversing these things, it always becomes a bit of a problem. <laughs> Wrong way. Come on. I hope you're all enjoying this and having a good chuckle. Go. No, still not. <laughs> oh dear. Going to be a problem when we keep trying to get the plant out. But enough is enough. <laughs> uh, it doesn't always work out like you want it to, does it? Right here, here we go. Let's go and get the bail loader out and we'll head on back down to the field nicely hitched up let's have a quick look there oh, we don't drink I was going to jump out and move the bales, but this look okay. the um, wool bales. Right, let's get us all set up. Get the pickup down, and we'll go and collect the bales. Here we go. So it'll take a couple of loads to get a, to get done. Do like the way this thing works. If you ever get a chance, go onto YouTube and uh, search this bale, um, this auto bale loader. There's a few nice videos of this uh, simple implement actually working in real life. Fantastic bit of kit. get this first one done and then we'll can offload it into the I'm not sure where we'll do where, where, where should we put it well we'll see when we get there well, we get 14 on here so 
it's at least 14, 28, 28, uh, 38, 42, 42, 52. So yeah, um, it's about four loads. Don't think we'll show you all four loads. That's if my mental arithmetic is correct, of course. That's 14 full load. Off we go. The nice thing about this road up here is you do get a feel for the size of the farm that we have now. I mean, pretty much everything you can see in front of us belongs to us. There's a little bit right at the top and to the sides, to the left, but um, not much. So pretty much right up to that tree line. The far tree line is our big potato field, so that's looking good. Of course we've got our sugar beet to get our sugar production going. We're still going to have to build a sugar factory. So yeah, the farm is pretty big now, pretty big. Right, let's get this open so we can delivered and get the cars all bedded up. As you can see there's not much straw left. Just a little bit in the bedding pods. It's always good when you have a concrete floor to have a good bit of uh, a good bit of hay for the cars to settle down on it and relax, chew the cut so to speak. There we go. I don't know whether it'll take all of these. No, I've still got a couple left over. We'll just push those out. Well, there we go, and that's the straw harvest in. We'll collect the rest, put them in the shed. That's what we will call this episode done. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!